Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my personal history series, I guess. And we're going to be talking about the dot hack phenomenon. So just as a warning, it is a little after, it's almost 1040 at, at night. And I had this weird idea hit me where I wanted to talk about uh, something that I witnessed happen absolutely live while it was, while the craze was trying to be pushed and stuff. and. That's the Dot Hack series. Um, I actually have all of the games. I haven't started any of them. Uh, I just I got sucked in. Um, that's 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 what it is. is I got sucked into the whole Dot Hack hype. It was like there was a there were the video games. There was the card game, and I played the card game. I was actually pretty good at it, showing up to tournaments and stuff, and it was a good game up until they released the second set of starter decks at which point they changed the rules drastically and even went so far as the rules that changed destroyed two basic deck lists um and and yeah it it, it was a bad choice but bandai was coming out full force they had the video game they had the anime they had the manga there were supposedly novels i never saw any of the novels but supposedly there were novels um and and then there was the card game this was and there were multiple anime series there was like the anime that was just like normal and then there was the anime that was like included in with the video games as well and a lot of people do not consider those video games to be complete without the the uh those di those animated discs that are supposed to come with them and i think they're right but it was this <clears throat> huge push and i mean a huge huge push i'd never really seen anything like that before where it was just this massive multimedia attack um it felt like a massive media multimedia attack on my wallet because i was just spending money left and right and i didn't even get into the manga and i did not get into the anime um or the novels i just got into the video game and the card game and that was enough because i wasn't making that much money back then but yeah it was it was just this weird phenomenon where like I worked at a comic book shop and it was like one of the things that people were only talking about. It was, I mean, people talked about other things like, you know, what is the latest Avengers? What is the latest Captain America and stuff, but to witness like something become such a big massive event and how it attacked from multiple vectors to the point where it forced itself into the conversation at most hobby stores uh i ran the anime store at the place and uh we sold the card game we rented out the anime uh, the comic book shop that was also owned by the uh, the same owner as the anime store sold the manga and I don't know if he even knew about the novels or anything like that but it, it was just this this huge huge thing and uh, yeah now now it's like everything's being re-released for dot or well has been re-released for dot hack um, on at a, at a certain point and I think it was like the the second set of games that's like after the first four and yeah I'm really kind of hoping that the first four gets um, remastered now I could be wrong and that might have already happened let me know in the comments below if if I'm wrong but yeah dot hack was this 
huge thing and it was I, I guess it was some sort of like experiment with Bandai trying to figure out how far can we how how much crossover uh, income can we generate by having a card game and a manga and an anime and and supposedly having uh, novels and the video game you know if we if we just crisscross all of this as much as possible you know someone who loves the video game might turn around and purchase the uh, the card game or someone who's absolutely loving the card game might decide that they want to get deeper into that universe and i know that other other video game series and stuff have done this in the past where they'll do things like a tv show crossover or or like uh novels or movies or things like that and are just just little bit of ventures off and stuff just like just a little bit of sprout but to have everything almost happen simultaneous like it did back then was was completely unheard of they no one had even tried venturing out and risking this amount of capital on one ip before and uh i'm thankful that they tried it definitely gave a lot of people more ideas on like how to approach things how to how to push their ideas a little bit more um what they could borrow from and stuff like i i believe that uh the dot hack series basically rejuvenated uh video game companies deciding to borrow from pen and paper role-playing games because they saw that there was there was an intersect um a venn diagram that where it's like here's the circle of people that will spend money on this and here's a certain circle of people and maybe we get get the people who overlap and maybe we can even uh do a good enough job to increase the overlap and yeah i mean i'm i'm very thankful that bandai attempted this and i think that it is uh very commendable um it was a big risk uh no one was forcing them to do it they just went out and did it because it was the PlayStation 2 era. You had to stand out. Um, and if if you just if you weren't standing out, you were getting left behind. You were being called shovelware or, you know, uh, a, a ripoff or, uh, uh, you know, a, a fake or a, a cheap copy of another game on another series or something like that. And Bandai wanted to stand out so, and they had the money to do so. So that's exactly what they did with the Dot Hack series. Is they they really decided to stand out and try to do this as much as possible. Now the only other series that I saw take such huge risks like this was the Defiant series. That's another one I might get back to later. Is a a great uh, like looter shooter style MMO game that i absolutely adored i i liked the game more than i liked the television series and i liked the, te the tv series okay but i'll get back to that on a later video but when it comes to people who look like they put it all on the line i think bandai's got the crown And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.